So my next special guest, please welcome the fantastic Cameron McDonald. Take a listen. My love of dancing. I think it was just because every where well, I the the yeah the first show I went to see was a pantomime back at home, uh, and I was about ten years old. Um, my dad took me, and I just loved it. And we used to go every year. Pride that I always remember when I was like ten years old. I was like, I really want to do this. I remember yeah. dad always used to tell me that I was the one who would just be like dancing around the house to like whatever come. If it was like a cartoon jingle or yeah, you know like the 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 intro music that'd be me like up and about yep. so, yeah, it, it came from that just watching the pantomimes and then as soon as and then I was lucky enough to get it in get into the pantomime the next year and um, and then creating I've always been that person who used to copy the dance teacher you know like people used to play like school like <laughs> when they were in school like pretend to be the teacher mine would be copy the dance teacher and I pretend to be in my room like teaching a dance class with like it's totally stolen steps from the dance teacher, but pretend they were all mine. I was that kid. Yeah, I used to do exactly the same thing. I know exactly what you mean. I used to, yeah, like perform it all. And, and my parents would be like, whoa, where did that come from? Did you make that up? And you're like, totally. Yeah, Actually, totally. not at all. You just watched <laughs> like the Billy Elliot, the film, and you just like started copying yeah. it. All of your own version. It's never the. It's never gonna be the full thing. Like jumping into a split. Like um, we'll just go halfway. Yeah. Ta da. <laughs> yeah. So, do you come from a musical background? Like, are your family really musical, or do they? Is it just like, where did that come from? It's literally a where did that come from? I I am still like trying to like find who it was. My grandma and my auntie said they used to dance. Um, and me and my grandma have like a little talk about that sometimes but I, I'm guessing that talent from my auntie and my grandma I'm guessing I've taken it because I'm the one who pursued it and blessed them but they yeah they used to go to dancing class together um, back in their day so I, I think I actually think it must have been from them but if like my mum and dad and my brother especially like were like totally like not into shows and musical theatre as like as much as I like they, they would go to my shows or they would go and see shows like in London West End or when they've been to New York and places like that they love it but they've never like taken like a passion or enjoyment like I have so it's yeah it's a bit of a random one I think I think I was adopted <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny so talk about your training and how important do you think it was to the success of uh, where you've got to now um so I actually didn't even want to do dancing performing it was this was so random so I when I left school I was completely I was like I have no idea what I want to do except I still love going to dancing class and like my um performing arts academy still love doing that and then I was stuck and I was like I, don't, I really don't want to do it. and then all the applications had gone in for like um the colleges and I was like well I don't know what to do so my my mum was like just try this college and it was like a little college in the Lake District and I went last minute and I luckily got into the, the um, performing arts um, course. And then I was there for about three months and I was like, I, I wanna I wanna take this further. And it and it was it was nice what they were doing, but I was like, I do, I felt like it was still like dancing school and I was like, I wanna take this further. So I went back to my principal and my performing arts academy and she's like, Okay, that's it, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you some help. And she like did all the contacting for me. And then I went to SLP college. To train and because SLP is not hugely known it's not a London college it's so it's so driven because there's less people so like you get a lot more one-to-one -one and you're noticed and there's about no more than 30 pupils in a, in a classroom so it's so nice because you are you are everyone gets attention everyone gets worked on you have three years of that and you're being pushed 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 and I had an amazing talented year and um, and we were praised for that and it was so nice to feed off that energy so I feel like that push from first year being like I have such a talented group I was like I don't want to fall so I was like I need to do better I need to do this but like the, the drive and like the passion from the from our teachers and um, yeah it was yeah definitely part of my success amazing amazing so in three lines best describe what it's like to be be a performer or a choreographer um oh I love how cheesy it is. <laughs> like, I'm a total cheese ball. So 
if that Grease mega mix comes on at a karaoke disco party, that is me up straight away. So I just love how nice it makes you feel. And like when you actually get to perform, it's it it doesn't feel like a job. That's why I love doing it, because it never feels like a job. It actually just feels like I'm I'm so passionate about this career that it's just absolute love for me. I know that sounds again, sounds so cheesy, and this is why I'm such a cheese ball, but um yeah, it's yeah. I just feel like it never feels like a job. It literally is just a huge passion of mine, and I and I'm so glad that I get to do it every day. That's amazing. Stop. I love I love how you say that it's so cheesy. <laughs> I think like when you really do love something, and you really are very fortunate enough to love your job. To somebody else who says the exact same thing, like it doesn't sound that cheesy. I get it. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I get it. But I know what you mean. You'll say that to people who like are going, oh God, just hate yeah. my job. And you're like, I love it. And you're so like into it. And people are like, all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no yeah. That's it. I, I 110% get it. So talk about your career highlights so far then. What things really stick in your mind? Have you got any like really big wow moments? I love that that terminology. Wow moments. The wow moments. Um. Well, I have done. I have done a lot of cruise ships, so um, getting to do or well, to travel the world was a huge. Yeah, I was so lucky to do that. So I was, I was so grateful for that. Um, but getting to, I think what what I love is meeting new people. So like going from job to job and meeting different people and working with them and finding new friends that way and then connecting with them and then it all just spirals like that is like my favorite thing to do although I think my wow moments are like working with this again so cheesy but like when we've done like panto and things I love panto we're getting to it with like legends like the chuckle brothers and I'm like oh my god like they were like childhood um like yeah celebrities so I was yeah yeah things like that like just not knowing what's next as well like I yeah I feel like that's always, I feel like that's like not knowing what's next is in like, you could be, I could be working on a cruise ship or you literally could be jumping straight over to the West End or you're getting taken to Broadway. I mean, that's ambitious, but <laughs> like you never know. Yeah, so I just yeah. like the surprise. But, it's very yeah. spontaneous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Especially going think, from like being waiter into okay, you've just got the job. I'm like, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. yeah. But I think that's the thing. When you're in kind of like a nine to five job, you don't have that, you know, spontaneity, that kind of what's next, what if? And also that not always a drive, but that ambition to go and find something different. Yeah. You know, once you've been, like you say, say panto, and then you're like, okay, what do I do next? Yeah. You know, and I think that's the biggest thing that I love about it. Every term is like, right, what can we do now? It's kind yeah. of What's so open. Gonna, yeah, who's, who's going to bring out the next show? Who's, yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, and like um, now starting out as a choreographer, it's nice like working with my agent and being like, we're, at the moment we're having like different um Q and A's with um we've had Matthew Bourne, Clark Peters, uh Trevor Jackson and it's amazing to hear their success and their story. So I'm just like, I just wanna I I'm like again I'm so excited. I'm like, what's going what's coming up for me? Like what am I gonna do like as soon as all this pandemic is over and we're gonna get back to like we are gonna get back to normal. I'm like, yes, I can't wait to see what 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 is next. Yeah. It's obviously yeah, and do you have kind of like, do you set yourself goals or do you just like to go with the flow? Um, I am more of a go with the flow kind of guy. Um, I do have my set goals. Like I, I do want to create um, a show that's on the West End, a touring production, like work on a film, things like that. Like, I, I, and I want to produce things like they're like, I know I can see myself like building to those. But yeah, I'm more of like I am a kind of go with the flow guy. Yeah, yeah. See what, yeah, see what's around the corner and see That's what good. paths are taking me. Yeah, bit of a yeah, follow my horoscope and bit 
like that. I'm like, well, let me read my horoscope today and see if that tells me. I'm one of those. <laughs> Amazing. Good, good. I'm terrible. I'm a planner. And I think, um, yeah, it drives everybody up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. List, 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 list. Um, yeah, it's, I, it's good. That is so good. Yeah, I should do that. It, I do need to work on that. <laughs> OK, so I'll take some of your kind of go with the flow chill and you can take some of my pain in the backside organisation stuff. Got my notepad ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Start now. Like, I live on them you know like for Christmas you know when people say like what do you want for Christmas and I'm I'm always like don't mind always always like a good notebook and everyone's like how many more notebooks do you need isn't it fun getting a notebook though every time I'm like oh yeah like let's go to Ryan Man and find a notebook what's the next I, one I Keep love down. it another little quirky ones I've got in there I love it and like I'm one of these people who have a notebook a diary a journal a jotter I'm one of those yeah and like I'll walk into a rehearsal room and the kids always laugh at me because I've got like they're all like this and they're all different and they're like why don't you just have one massive one and I'm like no 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 no, no, no it just doesn't, it doesn't. yeah <laughs> yeah totally get that no, I can't and I'm one of these people with the pens like they've all I've got different colored pens oh wow everything. kind of guy yeah colors I know but it looks so pretty like once you've done a week in my diary like I looked back yesterday because it was Sunday and I was like that looks good I'm <laughs> yeah. happy with that <laughs> yeah that thing where you make a mistake and you're like damn I just want to rip this page out um, I was the worst kind of kid for that I remember like my parents saying to me like you can't waste paper like that Jen because it's weird <laughs> I was the worst you know like when you're like doodling or like I used to love drawing and I'd be drawing something and it didn't go to plan and I was like and you know yeah you've got an eraser but I just wouldn't use it I'd be like oh, still messy still messy it's got to be perfect yeah I know how you feel it's so bad it's such a bad habit to have <laughs> and I, I try to be better now I do try to be better but yeah it's hard <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about Christmas yes it's literally just around the corner what are the joys of the festive season for you oh okay the joys of the festive season okay I love the the energy of it. If anything, I do like. I mean, we're not going to get it this year, and I'm, I'm got it. But like, you see all the Christmas lights up. It gets dark quicker, so the lights are like everywhere. So it's just got a nice feel. And when it's like, you know, when it's like like it's icy cold, but it's like still clear sky. That and then you can go to the little Christmas market to get your mulled wine. And you're like, oh, there's some gifts in there that I could get, and they're, they're definitely double the price. But you're like, oh. It's Christmas, and you can use that excuse constantly. Everything. Oh, I'm gonna have another cake. It's, like, it's fine. It's Christmas. That's what I love. That you can just excuse everything. Like, ah, I'm a celeb, so now it's Christmas. It's, it's, it's Christmas. It's, yeah, it's coming up. It is. It's Christmas. I yeah. know, and I love the the Christmas markets. They always have something wooden. I don't understand why, Ooh. but yeah. there's always wooden stuff, and you're always compelled to buy it. You're like, <laughs> oh. I, I clearly need this crazy wooden sheep that nobody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why Sing not? That on stocking. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I know. So, do you have a favourite Christmas film? I do. Do you? What is it? Mine's The Holiday. I love yeah. that film. I feel like sometimes when it comes on and you'll get it on like ITV2, like a like a like a replay or whatnot, like during the year, and I'm like, no, skip. I was like, it's a Christmas film for me. It's got to be done at Christmas. It is. It's such a Christmassy one. I absolutely love it. What about yours? Such, uh, well, I don't. I. Th it's really hard for me. I love. I, there are so many that I love. I think if you're talking like things that really make me feel very, very Christmassy, it has to be um, the Santa Claus movie, which is the one with Dudley Moore in it. Do you yeah, know that one? I do. That's, and nobody else knows it. Everyone always goes, oh, yeah, the Tim Allen films. I'm like, no, I love those. Yeah. But I'm like, no, 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 the one with, because I think when I was a kid, I used to genuinely believe he was Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> so, like, so, like, for me, like, at nearly 26, I was still like, that's yeah. the one. Like, I, I love, I do love that film. But, I mean, yeah, The Holiday, um, Love Actually, those, that, they're. I have a confession, like, I never watched Love Actually, and it's on my yeah, I know. This is a bad confession, I know. And everyone, when I tell, they're like, are you kidding me? But it is on the list this Christmas. I've got no excuse. There's no panto. There's no shows. I it's can't believe it. From the 1st of December. I know. That'll be my first one. I'll watch that on the 1st of December. Cameron. 
Terrible, I know. You can end the meeting now, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> totally ruined it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm telling you, if you love the holiday, it's not going to disappoint. It's a yeah. very good film. Everyone loves it. And I, even I'm like, how have I still not watched it? What? What? Why for 27 years have I not watched this? Terrible. It's, it's a great film. I mean, like, and then things like The Grinch. I mean, it's classic, yeah. isn't it? Like, classic. L. Yeah, you've got to watch them. Home Alone. Home Alone, yeah. Can't be. You hear the music and you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. What about Christmas songs? Okay, so it's, it is, um, I hope you're not going to tell me, but it's Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas. It's because every every year um, we'd go out on for Halloween and we go to this club and once the clock strike 12 for the 1st of November, they'd play All I Want for Christmas to by Mariah Carey on Halloween and me and my friend were like, oh yeah, it's Christmas. So every, it's just a song that reminds me of like such happiness. I'm just like, and it's such a classic. It is, and you literally hear the the, the bells at the start, and you're like, yeah, I know it, I know it. Dance floor, go go go! Everybody knows it. Everyone's like, ah. Yeah, Grab your deodorant can. Ah. Literally, <laughs> if you have not pretended to sing along or pretended that you were Mariah Carey to that song, I don't know who you are. I know. Genuine. Bring on the snow this year, and I'm down on that sledge. Singing it, full blast, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. That one and what is the other one? Oh, the Band-Aid one. The very, very first Band-Aid song. Yeah, I, I that think, song. yeah. You can't beat them, can you, Christmas songs? They might be on loop for a full month, but they're just the classics. They are, they are. What about your favourite or that you think your best couple or duo are in a musical or a film? doesn't have to be a Christmas one. <gasps> okay, Danny and Sandy. It's only because I, uh, I know it, it's one of my favorite musicals. Um, Good one. Yeah, so Danny and Sandy for me because it's that whole teenage. I think I'm cool, and yeah. then just yeah, it's. I just think it again so cheesy. It's iconic. It's brilliant. You know them all the time. And again, I did want to play Danny, but I'm just too small. <laughs> so I'll just play him on the hype. <laughs> It's like, oh, do you know what? When I used to watch it, I used to genuinely believe that high school was going to be like that. I yeah. actually thought that that's, I was, and I remember being like, oh my God, like, who would I be? Like, I, just I tell you what, I really wanted, I wanted the fair at the end. That's what I was like, if I go to school, that's what I want. I was like, I hope yeah. we can get that fair. Yeah, I will stay in high school as long as I can get that. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. We'll make a pack. It's totally it, different. Literally crushes me a little bit. I'm yeah. like, what? Ouch. Can I not get my, what is it, those um, bomber jackets, like, with, like, the school logo on? I know. I, don't know. I know. We ne- it's never that cool. I mean, like, even drama school, I remember High School Musical came out when I was 10. It was either 10 or 11. And I loved High School Musical. Me too. And I, I remember being like, oh, my God, it's drama school, like, High School Musical. I swear to God, like, it, it has to be. And I remember my first audition at um, a drama school, and I was like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I, just remember, I just remember thinking like genuinely that that's what it was going to be like yeah I honestly I remember crying at the third one I was in tears oh. I can't believe this ending but I was graduating school that year and I was like why can't my school be like this <laughs> I got my graduation I know and that's the thing like I used to be like like why don't we get graduations and they'd be like oh, that's very American and I was like we need one I know I want one American yeah, having all the fun. Where's our big musical number? <laughs> That's what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. All the time. So, um, what's on your Christmas wish list this year? Oh, a Christmas wish list. Hmm. Oh, actually, I do know. Yeah, I really want a, a coffee machine that works. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I really want is a coffee machine. Yeah, I know that's really, really sad. I'm growing up. I know that I'm growing up because I don't want the latest gadget anymore. I want a nice coffee machine. The one that I have is rubbish. Oh, I've, wow. I've reverted back to the kettle. Let's get a nice you? little coffee every morning and now I've gone back to the kettle. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd like that. I don't know where I mean, I'm slowly, like, hinting it to my mom and dad. I'm like, mm, yeah. Nescafe coffee machine. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah. I know. And you still, like, I don't know about your parents, but the, do they still ask you what you want? Yeah, my mum, yeah, my mum literally had that conversation with me. She's like, so we've, we've got this for your brother. What do you want? I was like, oh, actually, it's fine. She was like, no, we're getting you something this year. I was like, okay, I was like, let me think. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I definitely know what I need. Waking up grumpy in the morning. I was like, oh, God, <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. I love it. So what would you say has been your best holiday or trip that you've ever been on? <gasps> Ooh. Um... Oh, I'd say oh, I went to Las Vegas. That was really good. I know. Wow. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I really enjoyed that when I went to Vegas because it was just over the top. And it was nice to see because you see it on all the movies. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And I got there and I was like, it couldn't be any more real. <laughs> I was like, this is ridiculous. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. <gasps> yeah, but I spent a lot um, yeah. Yeah. I think like it's a thing like you go to America and you have to spend so much money I don't know what it is like any part of America that you go to you just like how did I how did I spend so much money yeah, I'm like okay I'm gonna need some overtime somewhere yeah please, oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell everything that I bought while I was out there because I yeah. can't afford it yeah <laughs> literally like doing a, a car boot sale outside <laughs> so have you got a place that you would really love to visit oh uh, um I've never been to New York so I'd love to go to New York I know I'm, oh, I really want to go and I thought this was going to be my year I was like I've got some savings so I thought it was going to be my year but maybe next year now yeah I've never been to New York I'd love to go and see a Broadway show amazing we were supposed to go in May oh no no, so so it was it was gonna be for my 18th we were like let's go and then it was like oh actually you can't drink so let's go for your 21st yeah and I I went to drama school late so I was still at drama school for my 21st and it's right. like all right okay let's go for your 25th right. let's go for your 25th so I was 25 in January and it was like right we'll go in the May and now yeah I'm knocking on 26 and I'm like, I'll probably just end up going for my 30th, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, push it back even more, yeah. It's, it's crazy, like we, like I, I say, we, we booked it, planned it, everything. We, we were going, you know, paid for it. And um, yeah, as it was kind of like creeping up, we were going as a girl's trip. So it was me, my mum and my auntie, my godmother. Um, and the three of us were going. So much to my dad's delight, he was a bit gutted, I think. He oh, really I, wanted to come. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so, Who oh, just I... New York? Just look and so I, nice. I know and we were gonna go at Christmas and then it was like my auntie hates the cold so it's like oh what should we do and then I was like well May's kind of like it's starting to get warm yeah it's not too hot yeah it's not um, too so yeah we were we were booked in to see Mrs Doubtfire on oh, Broadway oh. I know it's absolutely devastated it's yeah true. I remember I had, did have a little bit of a cry I'm not gonna lie when it it's was allowed like, it's totally allowed I was like oh no <laughs> yeah so we you know we're, we're going to rebook it for another time but it's Good. just it's just crazy because you just don't know when do you it's like not at all who knows yeah we'll get there we'll all get we will. there we're we'll gonna get go. there it's all right it's all right definitely so what do you do to unwind relax and have fun um so i love to go on a little walk now and again yeah i do like a, a nice um cold air kind of well at the moment it's nice and cold but even like in summer like I just loved going for like a little walk and find somewhere new um I do like just of an evening I, I actually really enjoy cooking so like I, I don't mind like winding down putting a podcast on making my dinner and then just just chilling for the evening and like finding a series to watch and getting invested in it at the moment I've got two series going on at the moment so I'm watching The Hand, Handmaid's Tale and okay. the fall so I'm okay. like hooked so like already I'm like excited to already be six o'clock so I can start making my dinner and be like right I'm off get got my glass of wine and I'm, I'm stuck in bed now yeah so yeah just things like that just being like totally like shutting off from work and social media and being like okay let's go and just do something normal watch tv and yeah, yeah just chill just totally and like I have lovely housemates so like get together and just yeah Amazing. yeah 
That's really cool. That's really, really cool. So let's talk about lockdown as much right. as we love it. First yeah. one and, and second one. Um, yeah. What kept you busy during those periods? So um, when I lost my job, <laughs> unfortunately, um, I managed to get a job at Sainsbury's, <laughs> which was, yeah, saved me. Um, but I was worrying about the whole, like, because I was just starting out, like I just started a whole social media page, my choreography, so I was a bit like, I feel like I need to keep it going somehow. Like I had a, like I'd like been to different colleges and taught, and I thought, well, it'd be nice to if I can try and do a, a few Insta lives. So I did a couple of Insta lives, and then I I set myself a little challenge that I picked a musical every day, going down the alphabet. So and then I'd pick a song from that musical, then I'd choreograph like a little like a few counts of eight, just to like, and then I posted it like just on my story, and it just kept me going. And like now I have like a a nice archive of like how yeah. much musicals and um, just to look back on and then I can like pick like some things like it's nice for me as well to be like oh, I don't like how I did that but I can change it to something else but it's been nice to just keep myself busy like that like I had that little um little task should I say just yeah, like, like a project yeah. yeah a little project yeah I was like well it's for my it's for myself if no one wants to watch they don't need to but it was for myself I was like yeah. at least I'm creating and like I'm, I'm learning from it different styles so yeah, I had that to look forward to like every day for some some of the time. Yeah, yeah amazing. I know like it, w- it was just like that, wasn't it? You just had to find something different. And I think because everybody within the creative arts industry was out of work, like or not working, yeah. it was like everyone was trying to find different things. So like social media was amazing. You just look up and be like, what's everyone doing today? Yeah, I know my favourite things are on social media at the moment, memes, like they are absolutely killing me, like yeah. someone can say like the stupidest thing or like the, 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 or, like, the simplest thing and someone will turn it into like the funniest meme, like and it's yeah. brilliant, so they, they are, those keep me going as well. Absolutely, and just like people, loads of people have taken up like podcasts and, and different podcasts. things. And it's so cool to like listen to and and watch and like yeah it's amazing to hear what everybody's been up to and what's you know what's been going on. Yeah, no, it's, it is nice and like I think social media was nice for that. Um, like yeah. you could check in with people and you could you could watch people just in case like if you just want to check up on them and like you knowing that they're still there and you can reach out to them now and again like your friends and other friends like far and things like that. So it's always nice. Definitely. And you kind of like feel like because it is a big community, whether you know people or not. And it's really nice like to then not necessarily know them, but like you feel like you do because you've watched their stuff and you're like, oh, this is really cool. I feel like I know you. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. It's actually really true that. Yeah, you do. So my last question for you, and if you can't answer it, don't panic. But what, what is what's next for you? Do you know? Do you have anything in the pipeline? Do you have any hopes for next year? um yeah nothing in the pipeline um which is a shame but um that's just the nature of this and um, which yep. is fine um yeah I feel I think as well like because I, I after the video um because it blew up and it did such um it went everywhere and it was great um I had such positive feedback that I thought I was like I need to, I think I need to think of something else um not not as big I don't think I don't think I'm going to go that far with something as big because like that was a, like a nice message to just yeah. fill people with hope and um, we're just doing just a nice little project for um a few dancer friends I think like I've seen a, a venue that I'd love to hire and I was like this would look great for I had straight away I was like I think I know the song that I want to use I think I know the style that I want to try so yeah I think I think I'm just going to look forward to trying something new with that and then just work closer with my agent and see what we can what we can find and hopefully work together and I get me a job Yay! <laughs> amazing well all the very best of luck I really really <laughs> hope it all goes well for you and thank you so much for chatting with me oh you're so welcome thank you so much for having me it's been a pleasure no, it's okay it's brilliant and I think hang on let me just have a look I think you're guest number 82 <gasps> yes that's a that's a that's a good number I like that number <laughs> and I think as well, your yours will go up literally two days before Christmas. Oh yes, come on, jingle bells, check them. <laughs> yes, yes, I think I think it will. So um, yeah, no, thank you so much. Uh, you I know 
it's so hard sometimes when people ask you you're like i don't know who this person is do i want to talk to this person <laughs> well, it's nice then we then we can find out things about each other i like that it's yeah, nice yeah yeah and also it's lovely because like i've built friendships and 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 things with people and just like even people that have just been lovely to chat to and you you might not ever kind of like meet them again but you just don't know do you no you know you really don't yeah so well i hope we do actually get to meet after all of this yeah. who knows I know, definitely. Well, I'm back and forth to London quite, well, I used to be back and forth to London <laughs> quite a bit. Anyway, yeah. Call me for a coffee and we'll go for a coffee. Absolutely. Sounds amazing. Yeah, well, really. take care of yourself and I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Thanks so much. You too. <laughs> no worries. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Thank you so much, Cameron. And all the very best of luck for the future. Who's sick of the Christmas films yet? Who's sick of the Christmas music yet? And who's eaten so many mince pies that if they see another one, they just might throw up. For me, I mean, you just can't have enough. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time for another fantastic guest.